Hello and welcome. My name is Aaron. This is a Hoi 4 achievement run for uh, Manchu Ko. We're doing the Dragon's Fall of the Sun achievement and the Hail to the King achievement. Uh, version game 1.10.5 Iron Man Historical, all DLCs enabled up to and including Battle for the Bosporus. Uh, never mind that save game, by the way. I'm doing a Spain video as uh, soon as well, so I just uh, have a save for that. Uh, what we need to do is take all of Japan. Uh, for the Dragons Follow the Sun achievement, and we need to do the focus uh, claim the mandate of heaven for the Hail to the King achievement, uh, which can be a bit tricky. Uh, what I think we're gonna do is to basically min max uh, Manchuku uh, as much as possible, uh, then we're gonna attack Japan and Instead of capitulating Japan, I think we're gonna get like 90 something percent progress and then settle for that and then put a lot of troops there. And then we're gonna join the war against China, capitulate China, or at least weaken them significantly. And uh, then capitulate Japan once we have weakened them a lot uh, alongside Japanese troops. It will be a bit tricky, but I think if it works, it's gonna be a really nice way to do the achievement. We're gonna do pacify the countryside here. Uh, we're gonna put everything in one army. We're gonna do electronics and we're gonna save 30 days of research. We actually don't have any factories building, but when we do build, <coughs> we're gonna build either infrastructure or dockyards. I'm not sure what's best actually. I mean, maybe dockyard and, and even in the hall, maybe. Maybe a dockyard in Yehol actually, and then infrastructure. Uh, the reason we build a dockyard is because uh, we want to uh, to build convoys so we can accept land lease later. Japan tends to land lease a lot uh, when we are their puppet. Uh, what we're gonna do here is to set these uh, troops uh, in various provinces. So we want to have six uh, troops in Yehol. Six troops in uh, Hailunkiang and six troops in Sunkiang. We can't really make that happen right now because we don't have enough troops, but uh, we'll make sure eventually we have six troops in all provinces, and that will enable us to get rid of a bandit uh, problem, sort of. Uh, we're going to train the army as well, that's very important, don't forget that. And then we're going to start. Uh, we are a puppet of Japan, as I said earlier. Uh, that causes uh, some problems. Uh, we don't really get much factories at the start of the game. So the best way of playing, I would say, is to simply rush down to assertiveness, uh, which will sort of uh, make us uh, hop one step further up in the uh, like uh, puppet scale. So we are a puppet still, but not as much. Uh, here, since we're not building anything, uh, construction actually doesn't make too much sense. Otherwise, construction would be quite uh, obvious. Uh, could be useful though, uh, still. I guess we prioritize production here though. Yeah. Uh, the idea now is to wait for five army experience, then we're going to make a couple of smaller templates to fill out these uh, these uh, provinces. We need six in each province, so somehow we need to fill 18 units. We can, we can also right after this finishes, we can start. I can show you what I mean. Uh, you know, boost base machine tools here. Uh, doing this thing uh, makes it possible for us to get rid of our banditry problems. Um, let's do trade delegation here. I'm gonna already start uh, pacify uh, bandits in the western countryside because uh, we have the six divisions there. Uh, and now we're gonna work on getting six divisions in these two provinces as well. And once we have done uh, those two decisions as well, we will be rid of our banditry problems. Uh, which is good. 
uh, here. Let's go for uh, mechan mechanical computing. Let's go for base machine tools. Let's. Yeah, we need to keep an eye out on the arm experience. When it reaches five, you want to make more units, I think, just to get rid of the banditry. Um, yeah, after that, we're just going to min max, and then we're going to, at some point, do a focus that uh, makes us go to war with Japan. And, yeah. Then we're going to invade Korea, and from Korea we're going to invade Japan. We're going to have probably enough, uh, uh, like, air support and things. So it's going to be quite fine, I think. Uh, we're going to switch mechanical computing. We're going to go for concentrated industry here. We're going to keep an eye out. Uh, when this is uh, 69 days, we're going to switch the research a little. Uh, this gives a bonus, and we want this bonus for concentrated industry too, essentially. That's why we are doing this. Uh, yeah, like this. Uh, and now, instead of going for the research slot, which could actually... Hmm, do we want the research slot before? A few factories. I'm not sure actually. I think uh, the factories should be more important, but there is a large risk that we fall a bit behind on research. Now we have a lot of political power. That focus actually gave us political power despite not saying so, I think. Uh, or we got it some other way, I'm not even sure. Uh, so we have quite bad advisors, actually. Nothing to be proud of, sadly. Uh, we do have uh, like uh, theorists we could get. We also have uh, this thing which we could save up for. Could go free trade as well, but free trade seems nice, but the bonuses are not so useful. Uh, when we have uh, no re like only two research slots, the research bonus is not that useful. When we have like one factory, the, the output bonus is not that useful. When we have <coughs> no factories building, the construction is not that useful. So I think it has to be military theories or maybe refining company. Not even sure what's best there. Maybe even the... Normally I would pick the one that gives both uh, industry and synthetics, but uh, I think for venture core we're actually going to pick the, only the industry. One, yeah, and as I said, we're going to make small divisions now, just to be able to get rid of the banditry. Uh, I don't know, some symbol. And for that we also need a couple of more guns, yeah, really, really more. Uh, so we switch these to this template. And, or even the smallest template. I think the smallest template is better, actually. Just so we make sure we can field all of these. <coughs> yeah. Uh, you, you can see I missed a few days here, uh, by the way, but it doesn't really matter. We have a bit of a margin here. Uh, I think we're going to go for improved worker conditions here. As I said, it's hard to find good stuff here in general, so let's just do the worker conditions and get a bit more stability. Uh, and also we don't have to do it later when we actually have production capacity, uh, because it does give a negative to uh, production. Uh, field, field, field. Uh, and as I said, it's this province, I think. At least that's what I recall. Uh, now I think it's quite important that we draw another fallback line here. So we select these six and draw fallback. Otherwise they would disperse to the other places with fallback lines and then it would be uh, impossible to do these things. Uh, but now we're going to do pacify the eastern countryside bandits and the northern countryside bandits. Uh, that way we get rid of banditry altogether. 
uh, which is nice. And we're doing this focus now, which makes sure we go down while step in the. Uh, don't press this. Or can we? I'm not so sure. We go down one step in the level of uh, puppets, sort of. We, we become more free, sort of. Uh, which is good. Uh, by not pressing that, we made sure the factory stayed a little bit longer. But uh, on the other hand, I think that factory went to Japan anyway, so it doesn't exactly matter, I think. Uh, assertiveness done. Now we have a few choices. We can go for the research lot. We can go for the mission to Germany, maybe, or even dockyards. Uh, not so sure. The way you do it, I think, is to go invite foreign investors and then start improving relations with the US. Uh, only so we can get the uh, fighter designer later. Uh, so in other words, even though we are a puppet of Japan, I wouldn't want to go for the right side one. I would still want to go for the US one. Uh, this one, though, we would be able to do, like, regardless of our, uh, uh, what's called, relation with the USA. Uh, just because we are allied to Japan, but I would rather go this one just to get fighter purchases later and things like that. Yeah, but... Uh, hmm. I mean, the research is kind of important, actually. Uh, also, this Devo Divert Machine Tooling is quite nice, though. I think we're actually going to go for the Divert Machine Tooling. We're going to go Divert Machine Tooling into Research Slot, I think. And then into... Uh, uh, this, 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 this. Uh, followed by some civilians, and then I think uh, we're gonna go for a couple of more of these. Yeah, we have to see, but I think we go for uh, request control of the railways. Uh, we can build something else now. I don't really want to build artillery. I think hmm, artillery and possibly anti-air. I think we want uh, uh, artillery 2. So I don't think we should produce artillery 1, essentially. Uh, I think it would be much easier if we just start producing it after we get artillery 2. Um, I mean, you can disagree, of course, but uh, we are, we're not necessarily going to have an easy time against well, Japan, I don't think will be much of a problem, to be honest. Uh, China, though, will maybe become a problem. So I want good troops when we take on China. Even some Doctrine stuff. At least uh, Doctrine 3, so we get a bit more extra defense. It's going to be huge. Uh, but we are going to be so far behind as well. It's going to be highly... Uh, annoying at the same time. I'm gonna go for some extra production here. And this one is gonna be used for construction, I think. Uh, so now the question is if we trust Germany, for example, not to recall Falkenhausen. Uh, because I sort of want to go mission to Germany, but. Uh, yeah, I don't know. The, like the the research slot could be more important, actually. But at any moment, basically, Germany can recall Falkenhausen, and we we will. Uh, have need to have passed these two focuses before then, so either we go here and here or we go for the Falcon House and stuff is my idea here. Uh, 
Hmm. Kind of a big decision, actually. Do we need that research? Like taking these four foxes equates to about 280 days, or exactly 280 days of time. And uh, two of these foxes are kind of useless, to be honest. Uh, well, these two are highly useful focuses. I think you do this anyway. Uh, you have like we play with the poor research actually. I think that's what you do essentially. I'll switch this over. Wonder if we're gonna keep training here. By the way, the, the guns could be nice to have actually. I think we're gonna train only to level three actually. Or are we gonna train? Let's just train everybody. Actually, just to get the army experience. I think we're gonna need a lot of army experience later. Uh, also, if we wanna make like uh, uh, our doctrine research be with bonus, we sort of need a lot of army experience for that. So. Guns are nice to have, but it's not gonna be the most critical thing I think to have lots and lots of guns. I also forgot here. We're gonna have to do these. I think. How many can you do? I think it's four of these that you can do, and each of them gives a factory, so we're gonna do those. Somewhat forgot to do those, actually, that's a bit bad of me. Yeah, but it's not that impactful now. Uh, missing 18 days or so. Hmm. Now our dockyard is actually building, which is good. Uh, we keep on producing as well. Mm, as you can see, the control stuff here will uh, finish before the next raid. So that's going to work out very, very well. Um, yeah. Other than that, I'm not sure what we're going to use the political power for. I guess we have to wait and hold it until we do our next uh, divert machine tooling. We also have some stability now, finally. Uh, which is good, of course. I'm going to go mission to Germany here. And afterwards, we may even need good relations. So I'm preemptively going to improve relations here. Got another military factory. Ideally I would have liked to have something else to build but let's get artillery one then. I do not like this but actually two military factories. Wow. Okay two artillery I don't have anything else that I really want. So. Uh, could certainly have researched like support equipment or something just to uh, well to to have that instead of artillery which probably would have been better but like the stuff we're researching now is also stuff that we need so that's what happens when you're behind on research you need to prioritize and it becomes really hard. Army experience coming in very, very nicely, actually. Uh, we need that a lot. Um, could do support equipment here, but improve machine tools instinctively feels better. Let's do it for machine tools. Um, another divert machine tooling, of course. And I think our German uh, relations are are fine. We're gonna get it to a hundred, I think. But after that, um, we're gonna stop improving. And yeah. 
we have some planes here, but that's only the transport planes, I think. Uh, how do you do it? You press here, right? Uh, yeah, so now we need to do two Germany focuses here. Uh, close the ties and uh, give Falkenhausen citizenship. No guaranteed by the Germans, sure. Uh, thanks for that. Doesn't matter too much, but I guess that's nice. Uh, we could actually, yeah, we could definitely Uh, let's see what we do here first. Uh, I think we do support equipment so we can start producing it in case we need to. We could uh, definitely uh, go for a couple of. Yeah, we have a lot of them. Yeah, we could go for a war economy uh, after uh, Falkenhausen. It's probably good. We should probably do that, even though we fall even further behind our research. Uh, but now we're actually starting to build a factory count here <laughs> until uh, Japan uh, removes them. I think the trade is the uh, yeah, trade is uh... okay. This is our third divert machine tuning, I think. Uh... I'm gonna go for Falkenhausen here. Um, not sure they actually do this one where they recall Falkenhausen, but at least not early, early game. But I'm gonna do it just so I'm not worried anymore about it. It's a bit poorly designed. It should not hinge on Falkenhausen if we can do this stuff, but I guess it's some kind of choice if you wanna do it early. Uh, and not get locked out later when they recall Falkenhausen, or if you wanna do it late. Uh, but I don't like it. I don't like getting locked out of stuff later. Uh, better that it would, would be like it would take double as long to research or something without Falkenhausen. But uh, right now it's not that good, I think, because getting locked out of a focus tree kind of sucks. Uh, but that's why I'm doing it now, just to not get locked out. Uh, yeah. Support equipment. Probably want to switch one artillery. And yeah. Now the question is what we do here. We always want to get artillery quite early. We also sort of want to get motorized at some point. Motorized, but probably not armored car. Like when we're behind on research, we don't want to be. Too greedy here. I guess we get motorized. Or excavation. But I think we have good steel later, probably, anyway. So. Uh, also, thinking if we want a submarine here, or if we want to just, yeah. I'm actually going to probably get the industrial concern here. Refining or industrial. I think even like the left side is probably better, even though the bonuses are better here. But 5% extra industry. Uh, or 5% yeah, extra reduction of industry research time is probably more impactful than a 15% reduction in uh, synthetics. So here, let's see, let's make a repair dockyard first of all. I tend to forget that otherwise. Uh, question is if we build a convoy or if we want a submarine. I suppose we want a submarine. It's a bit weird, but I suppose we do want one submarine at least. Yeah, so we get this one. Make sure it has torpedo attack. Yeah, it does. 
we build one of those and then we build common ones. And that's gonna take some time, sadly. Yeah, so now the question is if we go for the research lot or war economy. I think probably the research lot, but we can do these three and we can get war economy afterwards. Hmm, I think it's the research lot still, I mean. Not sure it's totally best, but yeah. If we're lucky, this can pass 30% maybe. And we can get war uh, economy after only doing uh, two focuses to stop our war support. But I don't think so though. Uh, we may, oh, I forgot this then. Anyway, it doesn't matter too much. The efficiency doesn't really matter too much if the lines are not near full efficiency, sort of. Uh, so now we just let Japan and China fight a lot. Ideally, both sides lose a lot of troops. And hopefully Japan does naval invasions. And then later on we're gonna push uh, China. Uh, but probably when they clean up here, if they do that. Uh, oops, let's do more divert machine tooling. A bit lazy with this, but it doesn't exactly matter too, too much. Yeah, so now, as I said, we're just mean maxing now essentially. And later on, we're gonna take out Japan, or almost take out Japan. We're gonna invade them uh, like properly. And then we're gonna try to be very, very sneaky. I guess we can always do this one. Unless there's something we really feel we want. Um, I can want to get military doctrine bond. It's gonna help. Okay, now we are getting the research lots. I was unsure if this is better than just going for our economy, but yeah. Probably this because we are so far behind our research. We really need to catch up at some point. I'm also not, by the way, doing the excavation stuff here. Kind of important technology, but it feels slow. Slow to do when we are very behind. So. Let's not. Japan is for now winning, they, they are defending. Uh, so China is essentially lo losing manpower and equipment, but they, I guess the whole world will end list them essentially. At least send expeditionaries and things. Soviets are land leasing at least. Uh, now Japan wants to land lease us, we're gonna let them land lease. Sadly, we have not built many convoys here. That's why maybe building a submarine could have maybe been imprecise, but on the upside, we do get the submarine. Uh, artillery, to improve artillery maybe. Or anti-air, maybe we lower the ambitions when it comes to anti-air. And just get anti-air one. How much is the difference here? Air attack twenty-five. Six air attack actually. The other stats don't really matter. Sixty piercing though. But that's not too important. I don't know. 
I guess we go for artillery, so we can do artillery too when we need to. Can we do another one of these? No, I think it's four, so it should not be uh, pickable. No, exactly. We're just sitting here accepting Japanese land lease, hopefully as much as possible. Uh, but we're not going to get a lot of land lease unless we build more convoys. Uh, now we got that. Now I think we should push for uh, war economy, unless we want to settle for partial mob. In which case we probably push dockyards maybe. Like could settle for partial mob actually. It's not that obvious. Or these two military factories so it would also be nice to get. The problem is the amount of stuff you need to pass to get here. Also these two civilians make sense. Hmm. I mean, I assume you may be settled for partial mob here. Unless you really want to build military factories, then you probably want the war economy. Let's just try to go for war economy. So we do this one, this one, and this one. And that's all these three bring us up by 10% war support each. So after doing those, we will be well uh, positioned. Get the rifle here. Or we can wait, maybe. Not sure we should do that. Two engineers. Uh, the reason is we can get the infantry equipment designer uh, quite soon. So we should probably do that before doing any research in the infantry weapons. Uh, let's see, how do we position these guys? I guess the... Does this work, by the way? Or does it give a weird... That seems to work. Considering if you want to push Doctrine already here. That is tech that... It's hard to do without a bonus, but it's tech that helps a lot later on. So, uh, we can send out some marine for training. I missed that a little. It doesn't exactly matter that we're not going to use the naval experience anyway. But having a training still makes sense, I think. If it doesn't get hurt immediately. Uh, which tends to happen sometimes. Maybe actually building convoys is more important, but yeah, whatever. Um, let's see how much we've got land lease. 283. Uh, yeah, without convoys, the amount of guns is quite pitiful. Uh, which, yeah, that's what it is essentially. Probably want to remove this. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I settled for going for war economy, which probably makes sense. We sort of want to build uh, military factories, so war economy is good. Uh, that means we do this one. Uh, 
Yeah, and this is a tricky one. Do we want to start this even though we are quite far behind our research or do we want to do something else? Could do this one now as well. I guess we do this one. That's also a bit greedy actually. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I messed up the research by being too slow, sort of. Door. Um, what are we definitely gonna need? We're definitely gonna need paratroopers, so I'm just gonna research that. Six nine two guns now. The autonomy loss isn't uh, a big deal at all. We have way more than enough. So just getting the guns here is nice. We are gonna need guns later. And the way you bait, by the way, is to have a lot of guys in training. Uh, that way they get more interested in land leasing. Uh, yeah, like I'm tempted to to stop army training, but I think I want to pass like a hundred, or even more than a hundred. Actually, cancel now. That's bad. I think they're using up most of their equipment on the war. Uh, that's problematic, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I really don't know what to do with the political power, so I'm just gonna sit on it. Can we get Landless instead of Call to Arms? Yeah, maybe it was smarter to build better convoy capacity earlier. Maybe that would have been real smart, but the thing is, I'm not totally sure we need a lot of guns. We're gonna get a lot as well, that's the thing. But if we wanted to have a lot more guns, we would have built out convoy capacity earlier. But it may be unnecessary, I don't know. We've got a boost computing machine here. And then we're probably gonna start that doctrine. We really need these doctrines to be honest. Especially the one uh, after it. Uh, yeah, just waiting for this one, then we go war economy. Definitely gonna accept the land lease. Gonna do another improve work conditions. And after this, we're also gonna start building military factories immediately, I think. Maybe in some cases it is nice to start with civilians, but mm. militaries make stuff which we need. Uh, so where are we here? Do we wanna do we wanna just get some civilians maybe? Or do we wanna do this one? I guess we go for the civilians and we go for work on even though it costs a bit more. Should still be worth it. <sighs> but yeah, at some point the army exercises have to stop because they are really making it hard when it comes to guns. I hope, for, I hope they can do these ones as well, but I don't think so. 
I think they're just uh, uh, more or less predetermined to do like a couple of focuses and then it's not so likely anymore. I guess we can do recon so we have it. Paratroopers I guess we can go with uh, probably infantry weapons one. Yeah, so Japan and China are fighting very much. That's good. Japan is actually going on offensive. Maybe even take even take some time to took Beijing here. That's good. That weakens China a lot. Uh, they're not really certain to do that though. China can definitely hold here. Uh, indefinitely, or even take over here later on when Japan runs out of manpower. But. Uh, yeah, right now it seems fine. I need to keep an eye out on this, by the way. If it goes up to uh, extensive conscription or something, then then it's problems. Uh, can prepare the Japanese stuff here, maybe. Or we can go for military factories. Uh, or dockyards, but I think we prepared uh, this one makes sure you can seize like Japanese arms and then when the civil war starts you press a button and you get a lot of weapons suddenly or the independence war I mean the independence war we're gonna have against Japan is there still land list? yeah actually over a thousand now so this is very good. Uh, as long as we have enough convoys, we are getting a lot of guns now from Japan. So yeah, this turtle uh, strategy sort of uh, makes sense, I think. Uh, huh. Would be good if China also could lose some manpower, but they have one million. So, what can you do? Would be good if Japan naval invaded. That would be really good, but probably not going to happen. Our uh, kind of military factories come online now. I'm gonna build a uh, what's called artillery. Definitely. I'm gonna get Xing uh, De, the advisor. Gonna keep an eye out here from time to time. 1800 rifles now, that's good. You can take that land lease. Not gonna build uh, armored car. Gonna go for improved infantry equipment. Perching General Affairs Council it means we can do a prepared seas arms, arms depot. We're gonna do that. We're also going to. We're not going to do this one just yet. We're going to have them fight a little bit more. Uh, would probably like to do this one, but no real relations here. Maybe if we improve them a little. Yeah, let's just improve relations. Improving relations should be about enough. Probably not. I'd probably lose a few days of focus research time. So, well, well. Now we do this. I guess it boosts to 100. The, the relations here. 
the political power is not that important and we, it may help later so Um, Japan actually pushing here. That's good. The more they push, the better, probably. Gonna make more ties with this. Gonna make. Construction here. Our second army now. Gonna send them here so we have something that can take that port. Yeah, so our appetite for guns is quite insatiable right now, but we're getting a lot, I think. Okay, they have stopped landing now. A hundred uh, army experience now, but we're not really going to use this very much. We're going to get concentrated industry here. We should have started it a bit earlier. We're also going to get fast machine tools. Then we're just going to switch back later to. Do you want two unmotorized maybe? I think one. Can build more support equipment. Uh, infantry and equipment we are going to continue with. Purchase tanks finished. We can do the Chinese Panzers. Uh, then we're going to do a tank plant and get like two extra factories. Um, yeah, that's sorely needed. More land, this would be good. Is Japan losing men, by the way? That's a 700k. A bad thing would be if Japan takes a lot, lot, lot here. And then we are going to have problems pushing Japan. But the more realistic scenario is they, they grind away and lose manpower. And with a little manpower they don't have as much defending Japan. We're gonna seize those, we're gonna seize those. We're gonna seize those. It doesn't matter too too much. Uh, but you do wanna have these done before the civil war. Or the independence war, sorry. Um, Yeah, so we're basically hoping China gets into problems. It's looking like they may get into problems now. We have to see though. Uh. Go for infantry expert here. As long as we have a nice template later, we're gonna have a good bonuses. So uh, that's gonna be very very nice. This is the reason we picked Germany, by the way. They have a focus that gives extra factories towards the end here. So this is the reward for all of these focuses. Almost this one gave a civilian factory, but still. Um, we also have a mm, relatively nice armor designer if we want to take this extremely late game, but probably not necessary. We're not going to build armor. Yeah, they're not really landings anymore. It's a problem. It's a bit of a problem. 
construction we need we're gonna boost the advanced machine tools or concentrated industry probably Uh, so we wait until like 15 days, and then we go for it, probably. Uh, we're gonna do the last uh, prepare or seize Japanese arms decision there. Now we really need to prepare. I'm gonna go for radio. Uh, finish this. How are we on stuff? We have still we have some aluminium. But not a lot. Um, see if we can upgrade a few troops here, maybe. Let's build this as well. Uh, let's go for Doctrine without bonus here. And finish this. Now we go for this stuff. Well, we actually get the tank bonus we can use for armored cars here. Still don't feel we should go for armored cars though. Yeah, now's the time when we get like passive bonuses and prepare for a war here against Japan. No, Japan is not pushing as much, but they have more landings coming, so still makes a lot of sense actually. Only 600k manpower now, still unlimited conscription. That's what we want to see essentially. Um, guess we get the most modern gun. Factories here, like we need guns now. If 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 we're not having any luck uh, with land leases, we need more guns produced ourselves. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure here what we do. I think we go maybe for the dockyards, but let's go for the advisors here first. Yeah, nothing totally useful here, I suppose. Mm. I don't know. Um, nah, let's not do that yet. Let's do this and then improve relations with the USA, probably. Like, it's not bad that the war Japan-China goes on for long. But it's not good either. Uh, it depends sort of how it's going. We want um, Japan to bleed troops primarily. I'm just going to make paratroopers now. And since I hate paratroopers dying, I'm tempted to add like engineers maybe. It's a bit weird, but... Yeah, I guess engineers will have to do. Um, don't need to do too much there. Could maybe want, mm, I don't know, if you push Pusan later, we could have wanted better, like support artillery alongside our paratroopers, but I guess we can make some kind of, I guess we can rush in other troops that can do the actual pushing. Uh, I have to think about how to pair it up. We're gonna pair it up Korea. That's the idea here. And yeah. After that. Uh, we are going to. Pair up Japan. This one with the bonus now. Still really, really want army experience though. Really, really want it. 
This one is our largest template, I think. I'm gonna duplicate that. I'm gonna start working on a kind of template here. Can't even add stuff. Too bad. Uh, need to wait for more arm experience. Yeah, but Japan is making good progress now. Uh, may even take down China eventually. There's no northern limited. Okay, it's no problem, probably, but we still need to be very precise with our invasion then. Do uh, mission to the US, I suppose. Did I improve relations here or what? No, I didn't. No, I did, okay. Uh, do we want to improve here? I guess we want to improve to 100. If we can. Let's stop improving those then. So now is the clutch moment, sort of nearing, where we need to be precise. Don't have quite as many troops as I would have liked, but probably more than enough still. Uh, what, what I probably want to do is to make 10 wits, which are going to be our main. 10 with, with engineers, which are going to be our main sort of unit. Uh, yeah, 24 guns per day is not a lot actually. Could be a lot better. Uh, we do need artillery too here, by the way. I should have gone for that a lot earlier. Should probably divert production to artillery too at some point. Uh, Yeah, we need more military factories. Yeah, we should probably just build them. Let's just go for it. Uh, should have built more military factories earlier, maybe. Uh, we're gonna go for recovery. We're gonna go for we probably need anti air though if we're gonna push China, that's the thing. How are we here? Yeah, we need to rush anti air as quickly as possible here. Really need to rush it actually. Uh, probably mission to the US, followed by fighters. I'm not too hyped on the dockyards now. I think we want the fighters now. Yeah. But okay, Japan is pushing a lot, which is good. They are still losing manpower, which is also very good. We need to keep an eye out for this. Though. If they go extensive conscription, we need to go as quickly as possible. But as you can see now, since they are so engaged in China, they have very little defending the Japanese islands, uh, which is what we want. Uh, really want China to run out of manpower as well, but they have so so much, uh, and they're probably getting land lease from the entire world. Uh, okay, still a heck of a lot of land lease though. Ouch! Five K guns to a China with half a million manpower. That's gonna be useful. Hopefully Japan can take the ports, maybe. Have to see, I suppose. Um, gonna add support or uh, engineers here, I mean. Uh, and when we get five, we're gonna reduce the template even. And we're gonna duplicate again. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to do this yet. That's the thing. Let's just do fighter purchases. We'll get a few more fighters, maybe. 
we could do this stuff maybe but that's not certain at all Hmm. Yeah, so we need a, if we don't have artillery two, we need artillery two, and we need uh, anti-air two now as well. Yeah, not good, not good at all. Uh, Yeah, we really need to ramp up artillery production here. Yeah, so China actually took over here. That's not too bad. That's actually quite good. I don't actually mind that at all. Uh, the main thing is that Japan is still pushing here, actually. Still unlimited conscription, very nice. After fighter purchases, I wonder if it isn't time for independence war here. think so. Uh, I also want hmm, are we prepared here? I want these to have high priority by the way. Uh, actually probably don't need them there. All of them are training, by the way. I don't think that's dumb now. <laughs> but we also need, like, military. Ex yeah. yeah, I don't know. We need guns, but we also need uh, arm experience. We don't need guns that much though. It's only a 10k deficit. <laughs> I want um, want a few one with cavalry. It's usually nice to have like uh, a couple of one with cavalry or something uh, next to your paratroopers because then you can just convert uh, the, the, cav the cavalry into new paratroopers if needed. So that's why I'm making some of this stuff as well. Uh, and hmm, I think the airport is in the mountain tile. I assume as much. We have to see, I suppose. Let's see if they go. They're still on uh, limited conscription. That's very good for us. Uh, extremely good even. And yeah. After this we definitely go for the the independence war focus, I think. Uh, did we no we didn't okay. Save that switch template. All of them now are wait. Probably wanna fix the symbol. Engineers. Um uh, Yeah. And right now I think we start to actually let's not let's just keep perpetual training um uh, is losing army here that's good they are still unlimited that's very good uh, hopefully they commit most of their stuff to china that would be very nice 
Now we probably should go for Independence War here. Unless we want to go here first. We don't exactly need to rush it. Like if you think our... Yeah, like we have almost as much. Okay, we have half the industrial capacity of China, to be honest. And they're getting land list still, I suppose. I think we actually postpone. I think we go five people armies. Even though it's a bit weird. Could go like... Hmm. I'm not sure. Five people armies or something. How many convoys are? 39 convoys doesn't exactly feel nice though. Let's, let's actually make investment into shipbuilding here. Just to be able to build more convoys. Oh no, dear. Japan is putting forces in the, in our territory here. That's not good at all. Uh, we want these forces to be down here fighting China, but yeah. Not happening probably. Let's, now we need to start artillery. Uh, we're not gonna build org. Uh, gonna switch this around maybe. Wait, come on. Gonna switch this to infantry equipment too. This hurts my soul a little bit if we cancel this, but probably do. And then we switch them all to artillery almost. Uh, as soon as it finishes, probably. Go. I'm gonna save maybe the ground support guy. Yeah, in case we have problems with air superiority or so. We actually have steel shortage, meaning we should probably also go for. Uh, more steel. Darn, we're a little bit like we're not incredibly behind on research, but quite a little, yeah, somewhat behind on research, I would say. But it's not that bad. We're really catching up now to where we want to be. Go excavation. Uh, Really catching up here. Don't really have templates, so that's a bit of a problem. Anti air. Let's feel all of these. These, I. Let's feel them here. Uh, make army. Make. Need a field marshal somewhere. Uh, Guess this guy. We want to have offensive and charismatic. And yeah, move the rest of the armies. Train the paratroopers a little, so they're not totally uh, fresh. May even have time to reach level 3. Uh, Japan still unlimited uh, conscription, that's good. I feel they're gonna give up China soon, unless they switch. Uh, oh wait, we need uh, we need uh, anti or 2 as well, damn it. Uh, they're probably gonna give up China soon unless they switch manpower law. Uh, but that's not too bad actually. They have almost their entire army in China now. They have some of it here, but that's not too too relevant.
more than this. We really want more than this here. Uh, we sort of want that producing though. Probably gonna import some steel here. Maybe it's dumb, but let's do it. Um, really wanna go with this now. You can notice that we didn't go for armored car because we don't really have time for it. We don't have uh, research for it. We can do it later maybe, but... Can you leave and go to China maybe, Japan? That would be nice. Yeah, it's actually happening. Now we have this, by the way. So we are gonna train this. Should have exercised earlier. It's a bit, a bit imprecise. Uh, uh, no, maybe like that. Uh, I was gonna cut the gun production. Yeah, probably like that or something near it. Uh, now it's probably time for this though. Yeah, we shouldn't wait too long. Um, can we have like, yeah, okay, it fixed itself. I was gonna up the repair dockyards to three. We sort of want to like uh, bring in the submarine as well, by the way, at some point. Can we get those guns, by the way? Would you cancel before delivering or after delivering? Probably before. Oh, yeah. Prevent air is something we want to build. Um, I'm even going to cut some artillery for that. I want to on uh, prevent I'm going to start building it immediately. Um, Yeah. Uh, what do we need now? We, have, we think we boost activation here. Yeah, our troops are not very tough actually. Not the toughest troops, sadly. But uh, we do have our doctrines though. This 10% defense is actually kind of nice. Gonna help later a lot. Uh, do we boost the resources here or the. I think we boost the resources. Uh, as I said, I really want to bring in the submarine, so. Can't be too. Need to keep an eye out for when the independence focus finishes. Um, do we have anything in particular we want to do now? I guess improved artillery makes sense. Engineer company really makes sense actually. Let's get that. This stuff? Oh, we have that stuff as well. Uh, probably switch this by the way. And this one duplicates. We go motorized, actually, we go support artillery, I think, to begin with. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. We probably have to invade Japan with like. 10 widths to begin with. Ouch. Still a limited conscription now, they will have problems. Uh, grenade discharger. 
Yeah, we want these three essentially. And that one at some point. Yeah, that's gonna be the best one, I think. Uh, uh, right, we need to set up a actually need to set up something here. Some kind of uh, line of defense here against Japan. Just so they don't uh, take too much territory here. Oh, they have a guy up here as well, okay. So half our guys goes up there. Really need more guys though. Really, really need more soldiers. We also have a lot of guys here now. That's not good actually. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about how many troops we have for the Japan stuff here. But we're gonna get a lot of guns, so maybe we should even have a lot of guys training. We're actually probably not gonna have these, by the way. We're gonna have these. Uh, and here we could get more research, but at this point I don't think, I mean 8% though. That's kind of big actually. Uh, we're just going to stop importing steel. We're going to... Uh, Let's go for it. It's a bit weird, but time to send in the submarine. Uh, probably want one guy holding this place, by the way. Uh, yeah. These guys should clearly stop training. So now this focus is going to make sure we are in a war with Japan. Uh, we're going to fight that war only to the extent that we reach like Tokyo roughly, if I can manage. Uh, and then we're going to keep Japan alive for some time while we take out China or try to take out China. If we can, otherwise we need to capitulate them, and then it's going to be problematic. But uh, yeah, do we need to prepare anything else? Yeah, these guys need to stop training. This guy needs to stop training. These guys definitely need to stop training. Okay, and then that one guy needs to stop training. I mean. Uh, I'm gonna slightly prepare them. I like to have them in different armies so we can see clearly where the power drops are gonna land. So my idea is we make a power drop like this, so we have a line going through Korea, essentially, and uh, oh, these are not very well placed. Oh, it doesn't matter, we're gonna have to march him south later. Uh, so yeah, we have a line uh, going down through Korea, and that's gonna enable us to get the troops down quickly. I'm gonna show you what I mean. Uh, independence war now. Uh, do the executed plan here. Now we get like a million guns and stuff. And planes, which is very important. Uh, Stop training, deploy, get planes, and get close air support, get like one fighter, uh, always one fighter, 
to do airs priority in uh, certain songs. Uh, the rest can go to Korea. Um, and then we're going to start sending some guys here. Oh, yeah, it was this one. I should have checked it, of course. But. I'm going to send directly to Pusan. Uh, when you send troops directly, actually that's probably a bit imprecise even. Uh, send to the square next to the city first. So probably here. Uh, then we can go to Pusan. Then we will start making a line up, up through the country, I think. Can we skip any Tyson? I guess we need to go here. Uh, here. 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 Uh, doesn't matter, probably. Here. And I'm probably gonna get Pyongyang just because, yeah. Something like that. Uh, and we put them to go when ready. And now my idea is to go down here and then we declare war on China essentially. So we don't reclaim the empire. Um, could do this one, makes sense probably. Unless we have anything else to spend stuff on. That seems nice. Uh, let's just recruit the bandit rumors. Why not? Uh, can we push already? No, we can push already. And yeah, we're gonna push something like this, I think. Or maybe like that. And these guys are going to be uh, pushing as well. Maybe I should have ordered, uh, made all the orders before actually doing the paratroop orders. But yeah, you leave and you learn. And the rest just go down in some random fashion. So yeah, rush everything with cavalry. Usually a good idea. If possible. Something like that. Probably want to take this tile. We sort of want to hold these in place, the other ones. Not much else. But I think 12 units should be enough for that. Uh, yeah, so now we rush Japan. Can we get parops? Really want that land list? Yes, please. Should be alright with the parops. Do we need to send one guy? Is transport wing on a win mission or something? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna send an extra guy. This C zone just in case, but I don't think it matters. I think they should be going. It's kind of crucial that the paratroopers actually go. Are you? I'm gonna reload the game here, I think.
see if that helps. Not really. Okay, we can do it without paratroopers, but not really sure why it doesn't work. Uh, if we send a fight, or if we send a. Okay. Huh. Maybe that triggers off. Send a planes there as well. And now they have time to be enforced, because why wouldn't they? Uh, I'm gonna try to rush Pusan, and I think this is the case I was talking about earlier. If like we had a support artillery, it would probably be GG. But uh, yeah, I think we can manage here anyway. I uh, really need to push down here though, so so we don't lose our guy here. That would be unfortunate. Uh, something like that, and now we probably import some tungsten and steel from the Soviets. Uh, uh, war propaganda, sure. Uh, now they're trying to push back against this line. Or China is pushing them, maybe, I don't know. But that's good, that's planned. Can we push them here? Eh, not so sure about that. Could have made planning bonus and stuff, but let's try. Maybe. Would be nice. Um, can you push them out? No, we didn't. Okay. Okay, we need to rush down troops here then, I think. Um, I don't know where to go. Maybe down south somehow. Uh, yeah, we need to push down troops there so they don't. So, so we always take Busan there. Wow, we're rushing through. That's just because the paradox were delayed that they had time for. So done. Anyway, I think we can still manage to take it. And some fighting is actually not that problematic, I think. But if they move their entire army here, then that's a problem. Hmm. Yeah, I think we move troops now. So dumb. Anyway, these uh, cavalry units are actually helping a lot too. That's good. Um, see if we can build an airport somewhere. That's the idea. Try to do that. I uh, should probably be able, to be able to break that. That would be clear progress, actually. Mm. 
if we had like a couple of seven twos or some nice template, I would be very sure of being able to push this. But right now, I don't know. Seems a bit hard, maybe. Uh, hopefully, they just retreat by himself. That would be best. So annoying that these are the same color, but make it greener. I guess we just serve them. Really guess we have serve them. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't have to be bad, but it's annoying that uh, the province wasn't captured. What I think I should have done was not to pair up the sun, maybe. But pair up next to it. Maybe that has some effect or something on the whole thing. But the pair ups took way too long, and I'm not sure why they were delayed. Uh, move this down. I think the airport is usually. Is it here? I think the airport usually gets built here. These guys are done now as well. Uh, so, yeah, we're temporarily going to send them down. These guys actually took the port, meaning probably want two guys here though. Yeah, two guys guarding each port seems nice. Um, well, we can trap a lot of Japanese units, but yeah, no, this is not good. Maybe we can go around them if we build another port somewhere. But the upside is it gives us a lot of uh, army experience, uh, meaning we can make a 7 2 template quite soon and probably just break them. Uh, I don't know what these are supposed to do. I guess they can help. Gonna send them here for now. Yeah. Upside a lot of arm experience at least. Um, downsides a lot. They're an extensive conscription now, that's problematic actually. Don't want these pushing. Bring down these as well, I suppose. We 
you have the supply for it, so why not? Why not? Uh, yeah, it's a bit awkward, but let's try and just attack them. Maybe if we cycle units, we can. Don't have any theory either. Hmm. Yeah, we need to wait for seven twos now. Ah, uh, so dumb. Seven tours, so we need them to like uh, move out. So very dumb. Support anti here. But for that, we need army experience. Guess we can just attack like like idiots. Oh, I broke their entrenchment. Well, wow. yeah, at least it's giving warm experience. Um, why same color? It annoys me so much. Um, draw a front line, by the way. Oh, naval mission. Yeah, that seems manageable. Ooh, only one guy now. Let's attack. See what we can do. If we break this, it's very good. Mud. What do you mean, mud? Ah, let's attack here as well. Um, with these guys. Bring one extra guy in here as well. Yeah, so if you break this, it's very GG. If not, it's unfortunate. I'm just gonna pin everything now. Uh, to pin, you press the tile behind the unit. That way, they are gonna get pinned immediately. So we don't get counterattacked here, and we don't lose our right to pin here. I hope. Okay, we did. <laughs> didn't matter. Didn't matter. No. Okay, so now these guys die. That's actually not so good. Uh, we'd rather have the, them uh, alive, probably. Uh, could cancel this. Do I want to? Do I want to cancel this? No, let's just let it finish. Not so sure. Maybe it should cancel. And now we invade Japan with, uh, yeah, this impressive uh, garrison template, I think. Motorized recon. As I said, we did not build, um, what's it called, uh, armored cars. Otherwise, armored cars would probably be better. Oh, they actually are oh, try hard in Korea now. Damn it. I don't know, actually let's just uh, not bother. Let's not bother. Try, in Korea, try harding in, in Korea now with the air, but uh, yeah. Now the question is if we want to improve relations and stuff like that. We can offer them vassalization, which we're gonna do. Do we want to improve relations? Probably not. I think the paratroopers have done their part. I think we keep like one guy maybe. Maybe immediately fix the... Hmm, not so sure I should be using... Hit that guy. Yeah, not looking so bad anyway. We need a lot of farming experience, but uh, other than that, I think we could uh, 
Now we're like slowly gonna improve this template. Uh, I'm gonna split off there a little, a couple of units. Yeah, and there would have been really nice here, but yeah. And there would truly have been great. Um, this stuff. That probably helps a lot, actually. Or maybe not. Maybe that's just defensive, actually. Mm, these guys can be placed here, I suppose. Yeah, Pan is still holding quite a lot of China though. That's important, but probably pin that. Probably brush in a lot more attackers. Good arm experience, very nice. That's actually what we need now, so I'm quite happy. Uh, artillery. Oh no, they're in force. Darn. Darn. Uh, I think these guys will be tasked with holding these. Maybe with some reinforcements, I don't know. Yeah, probably. Um, don't seem to attrition here. That's a bit weird. Hopefully, they will start to attrition at some point. Yeah, now we really need to push uh, an invasion across here. But as long as they have the Korean ears, oh, no, damn it. Uh, I think we need to keep attacking. And we need to make uh, a 7-2 uh, with anti-air, or a 14-4 maybe. 14-4 could be really good. And only then invade Japan later. But right now things are not really going to plan. Uh, eh, got this seven two. Yeah, it seems good. I think we focus primarily on uh, on the western tile here. Like with anti I actually believe we may have a chance to take this. But we need full strength. Uh, I guess artillery now, since we're finally having artillery. Oh no, they lost China. Arg. Japan. I mean, Japan, <laughs> come on. Yeah, this is not going to plan. It's all because the paradox didn't go the way I intended earlier. Really annoying. Yeah. Cycle in some more of these, maybe. Just for the experience. 
sort of low on equipment now though. Darn. Anyway, uh, that means we probably have to take out Japan first. Which is quite doable probably, but a bit annoying as well. Whoops, maybe not the same attack. Uh, this is interesting. Nah, you will only be satisfied with victory. Oh, I should have made uh, battle plans. Okay. Probably it doesn't matter. Okay, that should probably kill them now. Not sure we got that land is hopefully. <laughs> and they so incredible that they don't have a attrition here. Anyway. Yeah, now Shana is gonna be hard. Shana is gonna be really, really hard, but okay. Okay, we got okay like vessels there. Go for this one. I don't want to attack China yet, though. Uh, which ones accepted our vassalization? Uh, I got lucky there. A lot of these guys accepted. Uh, that's gonna help a lot. Right, Japan, so cancerous. Now we need to cycle attacks. I'm just doing this to get rid of their freaking air. Uh, but yeah, so annoying. Now we're gonna have a million troops in the Pan proper as well. Can we kill a tank or something else? Tank died. Reorg here. Cut that. Uh, import some steel. Make guns. Hire general. Get better stats. Yeah, I don't like this. Now China is just gonna have time to build up everything. But okay. I think we may win now, depends a bit how much air they have though. Okay, will they now remove their air? That would be really nice. Um, really nice of them. Probably gonna disband this. Uh, 
guessing we guessing we have to move this. Oh, it's actually a serious attack. Don't want to lose that. Okay, have they removed the air now? No, they have not. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks. Mm. And now finally they remove the air. Good. Don't really care about the bomb in there. I'm gonna have 25. <laughs> Um, now we can invade Japan, and if the invasion works, we are sort of on track. If not, uh, problems, but yeah. Um, let's see. Do air spirit to here. Here. Here, if you want for Korea as well. Here, and the rest of the planes go to Japan. Hopefully, Japan doesn't have too much, but they have had time to build up now. That's the problem. Uh, hopefully, they. Yeah, hopefully, we can take them out anyway. Um, I think one guy here, just to cause confusion, one guy here, in case we manage to build a port there, one guy here, the rest like around Hiroshima would be nice. Probably two guys. Uh, somewhere near here as well. Probably two guys again. 
and one guy in the middle of this island somewhere. Probably here. Yeah, if we can, we are gonna go. It seems like we're in here. Are the planes going? The, uh, the other ones? Okay, wait. Yeah, that's about as green as I can get it. it seems to be going. I'm gonna go down to four speed here. Good. Take tiles. Uh, probably move. Probably go and stand on that tile. I only have one pair up, that's a bit too. Go and take tiles. Are we gonna start a port here? Probably not, it's not the greatest spot. Uh, definitely try and take Hiroshima. Mm -hmm. This guy is going for tiles though. Um, all of these guys need to go in an army. Hmm. Okay. As soon as we get the ports. That would be very, very nice. Hold, hold attack. Yeah, taking Hiroshima is very, very important, of course. No, it's yellow here. here. Hmm. If we take Hiroshima, it... no, okay. Hopefully, you can move out of Hiroshima. I think we just hold tight here, hope for the best. Can maybe make some ports somewhere? Make that port. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Yeah, they have a few too many troops here, that's the thing. Maybe I'm running. Hoping for Nagasaki then. I think they're gonna reinforce in the last moment. The AI usually does that. Okay, we actually have a port now. These guys go here. Mm. These guys go here. And this guy take more tiles. Hold. Uh, Paratroopers, hold order. 